Hi, I'm Gene Burke from Cape Cod Acoustics here in Falmouth, Massachusetts. And today what I'd like to do is give you kind of an overview of um, one of my favorite products for guitar players. And it's a product called Virtuoso Guitar Polish and Cleaner. The reality is guitars, especially premium ones, cost a lot of money. And, of course, you want to keep them looking as good as they can possibly look. But more importantly, you want to protect the finish. Uh, really nice, expensive guitars, whether they be some of the boutique makers, perhaps, or the well-known American makers like Taylor or uh, Martin Guitars, uh, the finishes really need to be protected. And uh, there's, there's a really a right way and a wrong way to do that. And there are some products that are, that are much better than others for doing that. And that's what we're going to get into a little bit here. And I uh, hope this is uh, helpful and, and perhaps gets you into uh, a, a habit that, that's very important. If you have a very nice guitar, it's uh, worth doing. So. Okay, so what I'm going to use to demonstrate this stuff is a very traditional guitar here. This is a recent vintage uh, Martin Triple O 15M, uh, all mahogany guitar. As you can see, the top is mahogany, uh, back and sides. It's a beautiful little guitar. Um, however, it is, uh, in the traditional sense, it is a satin finish. Now. Some people really like satin finish guitars versus gloss finish. Uh, some people, however, will buy a satin finish guitar and go, you know, I wish that was a little bit, a little bit shinier. So uh, the Virtuoso Polish can be used to accomplish some of this. Now this guitar, this particular one that I, that I have, is not particularly dirty or soiled or have fingerprints or anything like that. But I am going to go through the two-step process with this, which is uh, using the cleaner initially and then putting the polish on. Um, and we'll get into that a little bit as far as uh, why you'd use one and not the other or use both. Uh, but in this case, what I'd like you to see is that uh, this guitar, as we look at it with different angles and as the light hits it, you'll see there are some smudges, there are some, some spots on it that, that uh, certainly could stand being cleaned up. Uh, same thing goes on the back and so on. And it is a satin finish, so keep that in mind. It's not going to be, you know, in your face kind of shiny by the time we're done, but you will see a difference. First step is going to be the cleaner. Now, this again is the cleaner. It comes in a nice little four ounce bottle. Uh, before I start the application, one thing that's very important to understand is that as with most good quality cleaners, whether it's for furniture or your automobile or whatever it might be, uh, it requires some elbow grease. One of the things that, that, one of the reasons that some of the less desirable polishes get sold so much is that they're very easy and quick to apply. With Virtuoso, that's not really the case. You are going to have to spend a little time applying this stuff and polishing it in, but there's, there's a good reason for that. One other thing about the Virtuoso polishes and cleaners, they do not contain silicone, and this is very, very important, uh, particularly on very, very fine guitars that have a nitrocellulose-type finish. Uh, which some of the, like the Martin Authentic series now, they've gone back to using that sort of a natural base finish. Silicone is very, very bad for natural base finishes. I, it might come out shiny initially, but what happens over a period of time is the silicone reacts and, and it will actually cloud up the surface. So when you put it on, it's nice and shiny, and all of a sudden a few days or a week or a month later, it starts to look not so good. So Virtuoso does not use uh, any silicone in their products, which is a good thing. So here's the cleaner. We start with a nice, nice clean rag here, um, a nice soft clean rag. This happens to be a piece of an old uh, sweatshirt, I think, that shake up that bottle a little bit. And we're going to dab on just a little bit. You don't, 
you don't need a whole lot of this stuff. I like to kind of spot it here and there on the back. And then I'm going to initially, I'm going to rub this stuff in using kind of a circular motion. This is to make sure that I get this thing right into the grain, or in the case of if it was a, uh, a gloss guitar, uh, so every little bit of the finish is, is covered. And now, almost immediately, you see there is better shine but mostly remember this is this is a cleaning agent rather than a polishing agent okay so now we've done the cleaning step um, on the back of the guitar and what I'm going to do now is use the polish and then we'll really see this jump out this this uh, this nice kind of a satin finish but it's already approaching a glossy kind of a glossy stage so this is our Virtuoso Premium Polish right here. And make sure it's shook up real well. Okay, and same deal as I did with the, uh, with the cleaner. Just a few drops here and there. One side benefit of this stuff that I absolutely love is it smells really good. It makes your guitar smell really, really nice. Okay. I'm going to go back to using a clean cloth initially. And I'm going to use the same kind of methodology here where I'm using a circular motion initially. You can see, boy, that's darkening up right away. Getting a real nice shiny look. Making sure that I've got good coverage. Everywhere. And then when I know that's the case, now Back to another clean cloth, and now we're going to really polish it in, going the same direction as the grain. You could actually probably, if you were very ambitious, and I've heard of this being done, to really gloss up a guitar, you could use a, a sheep's wool uh, type polisher on a on a handheld drill. Sometimes people will do that. I'd be very careful with that, that you don't, uh, you don't end up damaging the guitar in terms of it moving around. But elbow grease is probably going to work just as well. And that thing is really shining up nicely now. And I think we're just about there. Now, we really look at that, look at the way that thing just, just pops out. Now the beautiful grain of the wood just pops right out. It has a beautiful shiny look now. So that's the basic story of Virtuoso polishes and cleaners. I like them very, very much. I think it's a wonderful investment. If you're going to go to the effort of uh, an expense of buying a very fine, uh, a handmade guitar, you owe it to yourself and you owe it to your guitar to keep it looking and playing as good as it possibly can. Going through that, that effort of protecting that finish will pay off in the long term. I'm Gene Burke from Cape Cod Acoustics.